Michael from CTW here, and we're going to do a little video where we talk about all the things we did to improve over the Rorg Engineering VS design. Now, most of you know that we are all ex Rorg Engineering employees, so we have some experience. So, when we went ahead and designed our own dyno, the RD series, we made some changes. Now, the first change we made is we made it easier to take off the front cover. If you've ever lost a button head, taking it off so you can change stroke, your problems have just been solved. The next thing we did is we increased the stiffness of this front vertical plate. Now, a lot of people in racing running a lot of rebound. Well, that's been going on for a long time, all the way back to Daytona. We made the front plate stiffer because all the load is going through that plate, that bearing, and eventually into the yoke. So that's the second thing we did. Okay, so the next thing you're going to see is our yoke. Our yoke is, is far larger and far stiffer than what is available on the Roarg VS designs. We use uh, four, la four large bearings running on solid columns and use four points of contact to ensure that it moves in a linear motion. Now we know for a fact when you have one here and two points here like the VS design on the Rorg, we have seen the yoke rock as the bearings wear in. Now the next thing, this rocking, we tried to work against by putting the displacement sensor directly on center line. So we get perfect linear motion. Now the Rorg sensors, the velocity is typically outboard here the displacement's outboard here. So what you end up seeing in the data, whether you know it or not, is this rocking motion. Now, it can be worked on. You can make all the bearings very stiff. You can do things to uh, minimize that, but the moment you put the displacement sensor on the center line, that takes care of that problem. We also derive the velocity from displacement rather than use a second sensor, and this keeps the machine much simpler. You also notice up on the top, we have less exposed wires and less exposed electronics. And the Rorg electronics board has all the ports on the top. We have eliminated those and everything's connected internally. After that, we have protection from our side plates. Again, what we've learned in the past on the Rorg dinos is the sensors come down People, when they move the machines, they rock it forward and backward. And I, I don't know how many times we've seen broken displacement, bent velocity sensors. That's why we took our side plates and we extended them out so that if you rock the machine forward, it actually protects the displacement sensor. So in all these ways, we have gone ahead and made the CTWRD design superior to the Roaring VS.